and welcome to another episode of The Tea Drinker with me, Sue Mnemonic. And today we're going to be looking at Basseleur Tea, Assorted Speciality Classics. Uh, this is a Sri Lankan uh, company, I believe. Uh, the tea origins are from Sri Lanka. Uh, so a lot of the tea here is of a Ceylon tea base, except that they do do a Darjeeling. Um, they do have their own website, uh, www.basalurtea.co.uk, uh, but I got this from TK Maxx. It was 2 49 for 20 tea bags. So we've got five different varieties. We've got the Ceylon Premium, English Breakfast, Darjeeling, Sencha Green, and my favorite, Earl Grey. Um, they're all foil wraps. I've not heard of this company before, so I sort of picked it out. So let's have a look at what the, the tea bags look like. Just pick one at random. It's the English breakfast. Very, very pretty. Um, very smart. Okay, um, we're going to unwrap these now and get everything boiling. And... Uh, see the first few moments and uh, aroma and colour uh, so let's get the kettle on okay so I've had the teas brewing for a little while now a couple of minutes and they've all produced a lovely colour not much aroma coming off them uh, aside from a sort of standard tea sort of aroma uh, the English breakfast, uh, the Ceylon premium, and the Earl Grey are all sort of sort of darkish brown, sort of chocolatey brown colour. Uh, the Earl Grey is a slightly redder colour, um, more sort of mahogany. Uh, the Darjeeling is slightly lighter. It's sort of got an orangey green tint to it. Uh, not as dark as the other uh, Ceylon based teas and the green tea, the centre green tea is a uh, yellowy green, slightly orange, slightly brown as well so I am going to now set up for the taste test uh, it's all looking very promising here There's some of my uh, my favourite varieties of tea here and uh, I'm hoping that Basilo, uh lives up to its promise. Okay, let's kick off proceedings with the English breakfast. What's it say on it? A full blended, robust and rich black tea blended to go well with milk and sugar in a style traditionally associated with a hearty full English breakfast. Um, this is 100% pure Ceylon black tea. So, let's have a lovely, crisp, clear, fresh aroma. It has a sort of meadowy, almost grassy aroma to it. It's a little bit fruity as well. It's very sort of springy. Um, let's give it a taste. It's strong, but it's not bitter. Very smooth taste. Very smooth. Smooth, it's rich, it's powerful. Um, it doesn't have bit. it's a good wake me up tea, but it doesn't have the bitterness, it doesn't have the astringency that clings to your tongue. It goes down well. Very good cup of tea, very, very good cup of tea. Um, a lot of sort of black tea blends I've experienced tend to be quite astringent um, and, and very, very bitter on the tongue, very dry on the mouth feel. But this is very, very smooth. Next, we have the Ceylon Premium. And I'll just read from the back here. From the misty mountains of Ceylon's famous tea gardens comes this exquisite tea, a golden colory tea with an enriched infusions 
to make this one of the world's finest. Uh, this is pure Salon black tea again. So I don't know how this is going to uh, differentiate from the uh, English breakfast. Um, well, we just have to try and see. It's a very similar colour, very chocolatey brown. Again, quite a springy, meadowy aroma. Mm. The sort of malty, almost chocolatey taste about this. It's a little bit stronger and a little more bitter as well than the English breakfast. This is a sort of um, more sort of mid-afternoon pick-me-up than a sort of breakfast tea. Um, very good cup of tea. I don't, t I don't tend to drink tea with milk and sugar, but if you want to put, this is definitely a good one to mix with milk. Mm. But like I said, it's more of an afternoon tea than a breakfast one. Okay. Uh, now we have a Darjeeling. Okay, so we're one of the most popular and highly demanded teas around the globe. Darjeeling tea is often referred to as the champagne of teas. A unique taste with a brownish green cup. Well, it's kind of a bit more orangey than uh, brownish green. Uh, so this is a black tea Darjeeling, uh, which is a sort of different variety of tea. So, oh, this is somewhat more floral, somewhat more sort of uh, light in aroma. Um, sort of slight vegetableness about it as well. There's a sort of a bit of spice as well. I can't put my finger on this. A bit of spiciness as well. I know it's just pure uh, Darjeeling tea, but um, oh, that's quite strong. Oh, there's a strength of that. Oh, that's a real kick. I thought it'd be a bit more mellow, but it's quite strong. It's quite astringent. Mm. A lot of the Darjeeling's I've had have been quite mellow, but this has a has a real strength to it. This is I wouldn't say it's the champagne of teas, but it's definitely a prosecco. Hmm. A bit of a dry mouthfeel and a little bit of bitterness. It does let it down a little bit, but it's no by no means a bad cup of tea. Okay, now we're going to go on to the Censure green tea. Um, I've not had a Censure tea that's come from sort of more the Western Asian. Uh, they've all sort of been Chinese, but this is um, Sri Lankan. So I don't know if that's going to affect the taste somewhat. Okay, so... Sencha green tea is characterised by its mellow pleasant flavour flavor and rich yellow colour achieved by greatly steaming the leaves immediately after picking. Smooth and mild, this healthy brew can be consumed all day long. Okay. It's a sort of it's quite fruity, quite floral, quite fruity. There's a sort of citrus notes about this. I wasn't expecting. Like it says, it's quite a light, um, mellow colour, sort of, um, sort of orangey, yellow, uh, greenish colour. Very sort of spring, springtime. Oh, that's quite smooth. Hmm. Usually green, ooh, there's a bit of business there bit of a dry mouth feel but essentially it's quite smooth it goes down quite smooth the bitter aftertaste doesn't hit you for a while and then it does it's quite a kick this one does it compare to some of the Chinese censures um, the more sort of East Asian censures like the Chinese and the Japanese it holds up quite well I'd say I'd say the Sri Lankan censure uh, green tea 
holds up quite well with the best of them. Mm. Very good, nice, flavoursome cup of tea. Okay, uh, so we saved the best for last, of course, my favourite, Earl Grey. Now, um, usually the Earl Greys I've had are, are Assam based. Um, a lot of them, um, they're either Assam or Assam Ceylon blend with a bit of Darjeeling in them. But this is a, a pure Ceylon tea. Um, so, a versatile salon, black tea enhanced with bergamot essence, brews up a distinctive delicious flavour, keeping the original characters in tact of this fine brew. So, uh, let's have a sniff. Nice, rich, mahogany colour. Oh, that's quite floral. I'm getting the bergamot straight off. It's a little bit perfumey. I've not had a sort of very strong perfume of, of the Earl Grey before. Now that's that's very perfumey and it, it's given me con cause for concern because the aroma is quite strong with this. Mm. It's a bit too, the taste is very perfumey. I, I can't explain that. that yeah, yeah. Hmm. It's very perfumey. I'm not getting the citrus notes of the um, of the of the bergamot. It's very very quite floral tasting. It's very perfumey, and that is somewhat of a letdown. I'm I'm sorry to say. It's too flowery. That's that's a bit disappointing. Um, I was looking for good things from that Earl Grey, but unfortunately, it was just too flowery tasting, too sort of perfumey. Um, it, it it almost tasted a bit synthetic. I'm sorry to say, for my taste, um, that that's a bit bit disappointing. But I have to say, for Basilo, uh Speciality Classics, uh, on the whole, I'd say very, very good. Very um, punchy, very strong cups of tea. Uh, the Salon Premium and the English Breakfast, very good. I think you may have to work a little bit more on your Earl Grey uh, because... Um, it, it is too perfumey for my taste. But that's just my taste. Uh, maybe some of you out there in the internet um, might uh, might might have a different view on it. Um, yeah. So um, that was Basilo tea. I'm Sue Mnemonic. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.